So when you look at the absence of depth, you're relying on three guys in Clay, Draymond, Steph, and, and obviously Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, Draymond, and, and Clay were all averaging over 40 minutes. The only reason why Steph averaged less was because of foul trouble. That's not going to be the case now. He's got to stay out of foul trouble, and he's going to have to log at least 40 minutes. He can drop 40. He can drop 50, and they could still potentially lose. In the case of James Harden, this is an entirely different ball game because of what we expected from Houston last year, what they say they didn't deliver because of an injury to CP3. Now CP3 is healthy with Harden, and Kevin Durant is out. There is no excuse at all for Houston not to win this series. That is immense pressure on both of them. Obviously, that means Harden. They got to get it done. Game six, to me, is a foregone conclusion. Game seven at the Oracle, without Kevin Durant, if he doesn't play, which I don't believe he will, because I believe that's an Achilles. I personally believe that. Don't know it, but I believe it. We're going to see what they have. We're going to see what they do. They got to deliver, period. And we all agree on Harden. Not only is it most pressure on Harden, I don't think it's been another athlete, NBA player, that's had this much pressure since LeBron in the Miami days, for sure. The thing about Harden is the, the difference between him and Steph Curry, not only does he have to score, he has to create for Capella, who's struggling this series, create for P.J. Tucker, uh, Shumpert, even Austin Rivers at times. The, the thing about Curry, he has Draymond there to do all the little things for him. Um, there's no excuses. Last year, it was CP's hamstring. This year, it's on Harden and the Houston Rockets. The refs, it was game one. Okay, maybe game two, a call goes either way. They're at home. They should win this game by double digits without Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is not playing in the rest of this series. That Kev, I missed game two with Philly. Uh, I would be thoroughly impressed if he plays, man. The way he limped off there, we thought, I mean, God forbid he didn't obviously tear his Achilles. We were all praying at home for that. But this game is huge for them. This is a huge legacy built for James Harden. I don't know how he would live this down. Losing to Steph Curry and, and, and Golden State without Kevin Durant, man, this show would have a field day. Yeah. <laughs> Warriors, seven and a half point favorite. That's the, that's the largest they've ever been in the playoffs in, in any run for that game six in Houston. Guys, is it fair to write the Warriors off without KD, Stephen A? I think so. I think so. It is fair to write them off because of the two things. The absence of depth that they have along with what our expectations were of Houston. Max Kellerman and a whole bunch of his cohorts throughout this nation have been bloviating for the last eight, nine months or so, a damn near a year. Houston wins the title if CP3 doesn't go down in game five last year. Houston beats Golden State. They'd go on to beat Cleveland. They'd win the chip. It was because CP3 went down. Obviously, the shooting in the seven, game seven didn't help. We were missing 27 consecutive threes. But CP3 goes down. Well, not only is he healthy, but last year when they should have won, that was against a healthy Kevin Durant with Draymond, Clay, and Steph. Now Kevin Durant is out. Your bench is depleted. All right? And CP3 and Harden are healthy. There's no excuse. Well, there's no excuse. There, there is an excuse. I mean, like, there's no excuse. I agree. Harden should get it done. There's a lot of pressure on him. But now I'm going to take the other side of the argument as it relates to Steph. It's not that it's impossible for Golden State to win. Number one, they're up three games to two and they still have home court. That's number one. So as I told you, even if you think they're better than two to one favorites, say they're 70 percent likely to win the next game. Houston, and they're 70% likely to go to Golden State and win a game seven if they win a game six. Seven times seven, 49. That means they're under 50-50 to win both games. That's the way probability works. They're less likely to win than they are to lose, more likely to lose this series, even if they're huge favorites in both games, because they staked a really good team to an extra game, and that team has home court. Now consider what that team has. Steph Curry, MVP. They have an MVP on the team still. Klay Thompson, all-star, MVP and an all-star. Draymond Green, all-star, MVP and two all-stars. Andre Iguodala, finals MVP. You mean to tell me the fourth best player on your team is a former finals MVP who can still defend and hit clutch shots? And by the way, make good decisions with the ball, handle the ball? You mean to tell me that's your fourth best player? But you can't get it done, staked to a one-game lead? Basically, the next two, not basically, the next two games, elimination games for the Rockets? No, this ain't over for, for Golden State without KD. AJ hey, hey, Jared Dudley, do you know what Max Kellerman just did, Jared? What did he do? If I'm James Harden, 
I'd want to give Max Kellerman a hug. He just let him off the hook. I did he not. Just point, he just pointed out a whole bunch of reasons why Houston could lose this. Yes, the series. They're down, they're down okay. three to two. Okay. You know what? I'm saying, go you ahead, know what, Jerry. Stephen A., to be honest with you, I know you're going to hate this. I'm riding with Max Kellerman on this one. Oh. The reason why I'm riding with him this one is Steph Curry is an MVP. They still have home court advantage. You're telling me this man, him and Klay Thompson, can't get hot one game and be able to – now, we're talking about winning a championship. I'm with you. But to win one game in this series, they can. Now, to be honest, I watch this show regularly. There ain't no one that's more a bigger critic than Max Kellerman on James Harden. He, he's going to rip him if they lose, especially without KD. But you're telling me if I got home court advantage, the Oracle, one of the hardest places to play to win, and I still have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, Dollar, Draymond, I can't win one game on my home for it? No. Oh, you're, confu you're confusing the narrative, my brother. What I am saying to you, Jared, is that, wait a minute, if Jared Dudley is on Get Up, or he's sitting there doing one of his interviews and articulating right. himself as well as he does. And if Max Kellerman is sitting there talking about James Harden and everybody's looking at Houston <laughs> and saying, excuse me, y'all were going to win the chip if CP3 didn't go down. My point is I'm taking that argument and saying to you, how does it now make sense to go against that theory when Kevin Durant is out, their depth is questionable, and CP3 with James Harden is healthy? I'm not saying that you... Let me give you, you an analogy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not saying Golden State can't win. I'm saying based on y'all arguments in favor of Houston, how do you then turn around and say, excuse me, Golden State could easily win this? They Real supposed quick, to. Stephen A., so you'll understand it. It's mm -hmm. as though, it's as though you needed to beat me in two arguments to win, to win the show, right? And I had a stroke, <laughs> so I was at a disadvantage. It would still be very difficult for you oh to win both gosh. those arguments.